Alright class, we're going to go over this is chapter 12, number 2 problem. So Frances is getting ready to pay her tax. She's a single and living in Detroit. Frances earns $100,000 in 2011. She reviewed the following data which shows the RS tax rate for a single taxpayer in 2011. Now remember this table over here is called a marginal tax rate. So what you do, uh, you pay the, the, the marginal tax between each income level. So let's say for the first bracket over here, that for your first from zero to 8,500, you pay 10%. And then for the second bracket, the, your income that's between 8,500 to 34,500, you pay the 15%. So it's not the entire income pays 15%, but only the portion of income pays 15%. All right, so her income is $100,000. And if you look at the list over here, that will be falling into this category over here. So according to that, her marginal tax rate is 28%. Now again, that doesn't mean that she pays 20% on all her income. What that means, that means if she, if she make one more dollar, then she will pay a 28% tax rate. Okay, so this would be 28%. And then next, let's find out how much tax she owes. Uh, let me open the expert sheet, Excel sheet. All right, um, hopefully everybody can see it. So the income is $100,000. That means for your first um, first bracket, so from zero to uh, 8,500, you pay a 10%. You know, let me make a better table. Um, lower bound. upper bound or limit if you want to call it that way okay so lower limit upper limit um, tax rate 10 percent okay and the second bracket is going to be 8500 34,500 that will be a 15 percent rate and then third bracket would be uh, 83 from 34,500 to 83,600, that will be a 25% rate. Now for last one will be 86, 83,600. Now we're not gonna go to all the way to 174,000 because she didn't make that much money. She only made a hundred, $100,000. So we're gonna stop right here, okay? And then this will be a 28% rate. All right, so for this, let's find out how much tax she pays. So tax paid. So for the first bracket, this equals to your tax rate, 10% times um, the upper limit minus the lower limit. Now guys, you can do this with me on Excel. So if you can, if you want to open this spreadsheet and then do the same thing with me. Okay, so um, the tax rate times the um, upper bracket or upper bound minus the lower bound. So for the first bracket, for the first little portion of her income, she owes about $850 tax. Now for the second bracket, we'll do the same thing. So equal sign the tax rate times the upper limit, 34,500 minus lower limit, 8,500. So she owes $3,900. Now for the next two, we're not gonna type anymore because there's a little shortcut on Excel. Uh, if you click on it, go to the right bottom corner and drag it down there that's all the tax she owes okay and let's find the total so it equals to sum of everything together so the total tax she owes will be 21,617 all right so 21,617 there we go that's our answer and then her average tax rate so for her average tax rate we're going to take her total tax this number over here divided by her total income, which is $100,000. So her average tax rate is about 21.6%, so 20 or 22%, okay. Um, after figuring out the sh what she owed in 2011, Francis decided to ask accountant for tax advice. Accountant claimed that he has found a legal way to shelter 2,000 of taxable income from federal government. The maximum amount that Francis is willing to pay to learn this strategy. Um, okay, 
So, so what it does um, with this, let me see, charter some income is funny anyway. All right, so what it does, it will lower her taxable income. So let's go back over here. Um, so her taxable income was a hundred thousand dollars. Now, if she was willing to find a way to lower that by two thousand dollar, that means her new taxable income is only ninety eight thousand dollars. So when that happened, her tax amount will change. But let me write down how much it was before. So before the tax shelter, she was paying twenty one six seventeen, and then with the tax shelter, so let's put in the ninety eight thousand in there. She's now paying twenty one zero five seven. So how much tax? How much money she saved? Uh, I'm gonna use this. How much she be, she paid before? Minus the new tax she owe. So she saved about five sixty. So for her to pay for this advice or to pay for this strategy, the maximum she will pay for it will be five sixty. Because if she pay more than that, well, guess what? She's 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 losing even more money. Okay. So the answer is five sixty. And then grid it now. Hope everything's right. Okay, everything's right. So that's how the number number two in chapter twelve. Any any question? Let me know. All right, guys. Good luck.